They do not believe that Jesus has already said he go and heal. They're waiting for him to still send them again. Do you know, if Jesus would have said heal this man now, they would do it. They would believe. Before then, he sent them. He went and they did it. Then, now a situation was given unto them. They were unable to do it. Jesus didn't take the authority from them. It was still with them. But the problem was with them. They do not believe. They were waiting for Jesus to see, say, heal this man now. Then he gave them a simple review there. And the first time prayer that he put there was not really a big deal. But he told, he said that there was no really need for them to fast because he's not yet gone. So the first time prayer there was trying to say this. What's the one? Is it Lord have mercy? So, Lord have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed. For often times he fell into the fire and up to into the water. That is a demonic manifestation, if you know that. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. You see, that could not is that they are tired, they are unable. I will not, it's a different thing. I could not. I will not, I choose not to. I could not, I, I, it's beyond my capacity. So you can see how unbelief can limit you. It can, it can make it, it can make it beyond your capacity. So you try, it didn't work. You try, it didn't work. You try, it didn't work. You are anointed. You have the authority. But simply because you don't believe. And I bought him. Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation. What's the meaning of perverse? Please. English today. Hmm? Corrupted. What's the meaning of faithless? If you check the Greek rendition, I think you have this word, right? This word. Turn aside. Turn aside. This is to oppose, to plot against the saving purpose. I have it ever done. To distort, to turn aside, to oppose, to plot against the saving purpose and plans of God. To turn aside from the right path. See, you cannot see what Jesus was seeing from them. So it wasn't seen that these people cannot. So your lack of your your your, your lack of faith now is something else. Mm. 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 What are the faithless or the perverse that you check? The Faithless also is seen as unfaithful, not to be trusted, perfidious, incredible, unbelieving, incredulous, without trust in God. No, you are not But you see, that is how God looks at you when you are unable to execute with the divine counsel. Then he goes further and he told them that how long will I be with you? How long? How long shall I suffer you? Is he suffering them? He 
see how long shall I suffer you. What he's trying to tell them to know is that I have passed you through this process. You have already been approved by God. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have already been approved by God. I have taken you with fasted, with pray. We've done the work of the ministry. Now God has already approved of you. And that was why when I sent you two by two, when I sent you a number, God has accepted of you. And He has given unto you the authority. And your name has been registered in heaven. That you can be able to do this. And that was why Jesus murdered in the spirit. When it was said that, He said, My Father, thank you for your giving this. From the wise and you've revealed to this one. So the challenge there was simply because these people were already approved by God, but they don't know that they are approved by God. And they thought that Jesus had to pass them through another process far beyond what he has already done. What you think now that is a problem is more fasting or more prayer or more or just more something. But you see how long. Shall I suffer you? Because that has already been done. Do you know what I'm saying? You need to keep yourself within that circle of faith again. You need to be able to believe the same way you believed before. You need you need not to be corrupted in heart again. You need not to oppose the will and the plan of God yourself again. Because them not believing at that moment, they are already opposing the will of God. God, God will to heal that person at that moment. So you see that there are certain people that went back not sealing our meeting simply because we oppose the will of God. It's not that God don't want freedom. God wants freedom. You do not believe. I know one day in a meeting, I first to a man came with metal words in his leg. Apostles in the name of the Lord, this Lord. See, he don't need the permission of that man to do that one. It's my work, it's my own work. That one is none of the business. Let it be that you believe God in order to that you don't believe. Just answer it. The Bible now said that, and Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciple to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. At this time, if I tell you that you have unbelief problem. You might not want to believe that actually you are from the world. But you see, the simple example I can give you is, let's say, if I tell you that, um, because they don't believe that the God that did the former one will be able to do this one, because they look at this present situation as something that is too fierce than the former one. If I tell you that in the name of Jesus, somebody will give you five dollars, you are living this place. It's easier for you to believe that. Huh? When I say in the name of Jesus, as you live outside here, somebody give you two billion dollars. That's the way you say amen that is believe or not believe. <laughs> you do not believe, you do not disbelieve. That's unbelief. And that alone is opposing the will of God. You said to this. So if you now ask yourself, what was your problem? When you agree for five naira and you can't agree for two naira, because you will never understand the unbelief that is on you if you don't understand this. Answer. At what point in your spirit? At what point in your heart that you suddenly, your mind suddenly configure itself and say, "Kai, I know Philip has not lied, mm-hmm. but Kai, uh, that is that little thing that you cannot see." Is what Jesus is the opposition of the spirit. And Jesus called that corrupt, he called perverse again. For so verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, 
remove hence to yonder place and you shall be removed and nothing shall be impossible unto you at that time he now wants to enlarge their mind and their capacity to let them know that far beyond just believing a simple thing even that which they consider it impossible can, impossible can be done if they cannot switch from their intensity of believing that God can give them partner but he cannot give them two billion ask yourself what does it take God to do that what does it take God to shoot that man because Jesus just came and did the practical for them and they did not even learn anything from what he did they just came and they break it and left they do not learn anything Okay, let, let me ask you, what did you learn from what Jesus did that these people did not do? Because I believe they prayed for the man too. Because they said they, they, they could not. That means they have tried. It's not who, if it was who this will are not doing. But could not, they tried. So what do you really think that was, was really that they did not understand that now Jesus did? Because I believe that this, they will use the same formula that Jesus gave them that time when he sent them to go to the other escapade and they did it well. So now, what is now the problem? Just our switch in intensity was what positioned them in a different direction. Your heart posture matters a lot. Your heart posture, the way you position your heart when you approach a situation matters so much. The same way the way you position your heart when you approach God matters so much. Anytime you stand before God, how do you see yourself? When you are making a demand from God, how do you see yourself? When I'm praying for you, there's a hard posture that I must carry. The same hard posture that the priests carry when they wear the, the woman and the tomb. The breastplate. That hard posture that they believe that, okay, God is with me. William Branham said something. William Branham said something. That... He's working with an angel. He's working with an angel. That he will not do anything except that angel be sent in that place. That means this man has positioned his heart posture that he is powerless until an angel appears. And when that angel appears, he can shift the whole of his building to the other side. And don't try to say it's impossible. Because when you say a man like you realize the things that he did, a time came that he said, Lord Jesus, let let put this people that you have sent me. His face, Jesus' face appeared on the sky, and everybody saw it and they could see it. Yesterday, when the rain was, rain was about to fall, that rain was not that rain was not a rain for us to run in it. And that was why I after we finished meeting the pastor, after the three hours, did you feel as though you stayed in the rain? It looked as though you were, it would look as though normal. And we were coming back, we were discussing the scripture with you, Jeremiah 10. Jeremiah 10. Because you must really understand that your heart posture matters a lot. And now you are with God, but I'm so much. When you approach God to pray for someone, today, our report said that when he's laying hand on the sick, that he see the picture of Jesus laying hand together with him. He's not asking for you to believe that with him. Because it is already a reality for him. Can you tell you, can you see a lot of this? That man, that's what I have problems with people that say they are just word faith. That man preached the word of faith, can you give me it? But that man see vision of Jesus like that, like a prophet. Most of the vision that this man see, they are very, very high. And they are just simple vision. So it was just last year, October, that this encounter of a vision of Jesus. I saw it was too real. 
and so real because it's not too rare for everyone that Jesus come to you in the as we are like this then this atmosphere will now change it's as though a clothing something will just cover this place and suddenly our normal eyes change configuration then we lose sense and touch of these places at that time you can pass through this place don't know that you pass through then suddenly jesus will not appear what happened was just that jesus released faith in the atmosphere then initiated to that level of belief with him then he can relate with you because the realm upon which you are you can't be able to relate with him so you have to elevate you to another realm so that you can be able to relate with you in that perspective i was just talking Religion of God because it was about to be the atonement. I do follow Jewish festival. We soon begin Passover. Many people call it Easter. I don't look at it as Easter. If I explain to you the mystery of the Passover, you stop celebrating them in the flesh. And all the celebrations that you see that people celebrate, those things come from Jewish origin. And everything that Islam do or Jewish people do eh, is really of God. Although Islam own oh, my very very wrong, but I'm telling you that the Jewish might follow it in the flesh, you follow it in the spirit, you get better results. Generally, that Passover is what the celebration of Jesus Christ. This one is made up. Is number two. Why do we celebrate Christmas, please? December. Okay. From ten to this time, does it look like this? Is the time that Jesus Christ died. From that December to this time, do you know normally Christmas is not supposed to be 25th, it's supposed to be around October. That was a really bad. Do you realize that there's going to be the reservation of the body that will happen within this Easter time? Did that sound again? There's going to be the reservation of the body that will happen within this Easter time. Because a window and a gate will be open. That is the reality that happened before it will occur again. So there will be victory, there will be triumphant entry. And there will be so much possession that will happen. Certain blessings will be released upon people. For you, you think I'm celebrating Easter as usual. The season of atonement is actually the time where God comes to atone people. God comes to confirm people. God comes to, to to bring a new baptism to a selected few. At that time I was waiting. Then suddenly, around night time, the atmosphere of my home changed. And I literally saw that the living creatures came in. They passed through all. The Lord came in like a moving white wind. And I saw three faces. I saw the face of the calf, the face of the eagle, and the face of the lion. The face of the lion facing my front. And immediately, in, in, in surprise and in fear, I was like, what is this? Suddenly, wisdom indicates me that The faces are three, but the fourth one symbolizes that face of the man. The three carry the fourth one. Just I'm trying to say. The highest dimension of the living creatures is the face of the man. And that's why Jesus Christ, you can see him as the lamb, you can see him as the lion. But if you go to heaven now, he will appear to you as the man. 
That is the dimension of him that has been given unto creation. The other dimension of him is not for we humans. He can relate in heaven perspective. He can relate in heaven as other things. But when he is relating with you as a human, that is the dimension you are given. Those three creators couldn't as much as do much to me, except when the time that they opened up themselves and I saw the face of the man come up one another. And I said, Jesus, me as the man. And then they are fallen down as dead. I was shouting. See, for today is the day of atonement. I have come to atone people. I have come to celebrate but a few that will bear influence upon the face of the earth in times to come. But that shall yet again come terrible times upon the face upon the face of the earth. And I saw him come with two angels and he said, These angels they are going to mark certain people that will bear influence upon the face of the earth as I have told people. After he spoke a lot of things, you know, he said, Check that his hand was me, light struck me. And he said, I am increasing your power and your strength. Immediately, when after he finished speaking, when he left, I was down there. I was a lot of these encounters. And you must believe these encounters with the whole of your heart. I don't know what. God, I don't know how God encounter you. When you see many ministers, they will tell you, apostle will tell you that one day he was so so and a light appearing in his room and just stretched for that. You might hear only one encounter of Jesus, but that only one encounter was what he believed it and he changed his life up to now. You might have had an you might have had an encounter with God before. Hold on to that encounter, believe it, and always remind yourself of that reality. If it was real. Then it is real. That encounter did something into you. It did something to you. You have to believe it. The disciples had an encounter with Jesus. He sent them. But the time came, they began to disbelieve. They are waiting for him to encounter them again. But in encountering and encountering them, would do them as much as they don't believe. If Jesus appeared to you now again, what would it change? If you don't believe in what he has done, in, in, in his former appearance to it. Do you believe you are a Do you believe you are not? Do you believe you have a calling? Do you believe you have an ointment? Do you believe that your gift and your potentials in God can express itself? Do you believe it? When you lay hands on the sick, do you believe that something in virtue is leaving you to the person? Do you believe that you are a carrier of something? Do you believe you are a carrier of the person that I'm going to talk If you don't believe this thing, it will not work for you. Maybe when I came to the hotel, maybe when I end, well, not, maybe when I end, I lie down and I make a decree. Because if there is any demonic was, it will pack and leave. Why? Because I come with a different government. I don't come alone. I come with an end board. Your secret should not just be in what people see. It should be in what they don't see. Secret that is that others don't know. If all what people will see just see you with a nice suit, my friend, you are not in this. A small man is a big brother. I want you to believe there is another reality of who you are inside of you. And that is what do business in the spiritual. And that is what influence in the natural. Impossible situation will change not because of you like this. It will change. Because you engage another authority. So 
Ah, não pode ir. Dá tudo que eu faço com o senhor. Me peito. Because if you are connected to the source, you will definitely transform others. You will definitely transform others. If God has encountered you, that same realm you can be able to bring others into that realm. is that many people are believing a lie but what you are believing now is already a lie Jesus said that unbelief that they had is an opposition to his will that unbelief that they had is unfaithfulness that unbelief that they had is, is not trusting in God there are so many pastors that don't believe in God at all there are too many of them they don't they just put him. That was a blessing. That was a, after he, he read his Bible like this and he saw that if you believe in my name, you hit the sea, raise the dead, you cast out the devil. He said, huh? He ran to his pastor and asked, Pastor, my Bible said, if I believe, I will heal the sick, raise the dead, and cast out the devil. He asked the pastor, is this possible? The pastor said, yes. Have you done it before? He said, no. Said, Can I do it? I don't know. So the pastor has been reading, he has been putting, but he, he did not even know the reality of this existence. How many things have your pastor preached that you know that? Truly, truly. He might preach about the sick or whatever. If you bring a sick, he will tell you not this can't be done. They will just give an excuse. Remember from campus that time, we used to carry people to teaching hospital to go pray for the sick. Take them to sick bed to go pray for the sick. Sometimes something will happen, sometimes nothing will happen. But let it be that you try something. If you have ashamed or you are afraid of trying the ones, I want about the ones within your court. Now, okay, your parents, somebody call you from home, say that you're sick. Do it in the secret. If it do not happen, don't even let anybody know. When it happens, you will believe in this God the more. That's the way that when you see certain results in God, you believe God the more. But you cannot see result if you don't want to go out in faith. You see? Seriously. Jeremiah what? Ten what? I see, I see the I see the Lord doing in the days of the latter rain. You know my what?
Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Bible said, no problem. Mm-hmm. Bible said, I see the Lord reign in the time of the latter reign. You see, there is a contradiction here. It is it is the time of rain. Or he still said that you should ask the Lord to rain again. You have to ask. Is there a need for you to ask for rain when rain when there is when it's already time for rain that rain is falling? So, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them shower of rain to every one grass in the field. But the problem here is that this rain is talking about is not talking about natural rain. It's talking about spiritual times and seasons. And human beings here are symbolized as grass in the field. These are people that have gone through a lot. These are people that are in the process of waiting. They are in the process of drought. But the time of rain, which was the time for their refreshing, has come. And still upon that, there, there was no understanding of it. And when we go further, you see why there was no understanding. Because they simply believe a lie. I know there is a time for everything, there is season, but do you know that your timing can be wrong? Okay, let's say your, your clock, I think, man, I'll stop for a while. Mm-hmm. It will. Mm-hmm. This, this is a lie. It's a clock, but you say 904. It's still working. It's still working. So, it might be showing you that the thing is moving, but it's a lie. Just sometimes it. So, it might be time for rain, and you are part of the you are part of the grass in the field. You remember the parable that spoke about um, that the master plants uh, the wheat, the enemy plants tears. They grow together. So let's cut them down. Say so, no. In the process of cutting them down, we we'll cut even the wheat. Let them. Let's leave them. Let them grow. When time of harvest comes, the angels will separate. See, these are these are people. But the challenge here is simply because they are believe a lie, and the timing which upon which they are supposed to experience refreshing has come, and yet they can't be able to perceive it. So the Lord demand that we ask Him rain, even in times of rain. So, if you are feeling that I'm functioning, if you are feeling that anybody functioning anything, that is the season. Ask him for your own at that time. So, for the idols have spoken vanity, and the diviners have seen a lie, and have told false dreams. They comfort in vain; therefore, they went their ways as flocked. They were troubled because they were, they, there was no shepherd. Say for the idols have spoken vanity. The household of Petraphim, the, the house of our idols, they've gathered together and they've spoken a lie about certain people, about certain of these selected. And people that divine, people that they go consult to tell them what will be all of them, they have also spoken a lie, but they, they, they don't know. Why? Because they choose to believe a lie. And people that dream, they also spoke a dream that is false. And therefore, they, they can no longer assess spiritual realities. So their life is distorted. In go further, you see how God was angry and decided to bring judgment upon them. Jeremiah said something that God will give you pastors after. See, God will give you pastors after my own heart. 
That was when I saw, when I got the light of that scripture, I realized that not everyone is supposed to be my pastor. See, I would give you pastors after my own heart. So, God will plant you in a place. God, God, there are people that God has connected and destined for you. I don't know how it meant. But I'm telling you, before you, before you were born, it was designed to be so. I don't know how you get to meet that. Before you were born, it was designed to be so. There are people that you meet them only. They will leave. Mm-hmm. And the best part you put is that God, I submit all my false friends as burnt offering to me. Burn them all. Yes. Because there are a lot of people that are around you now that they are very wrong people. Mm-hmm. If they're not born as burnt offering, they will become a problem one day. You can't believe what some friends will tell you to do. Mm-hmm. Huh? I think I think you not had a friend that encouraged you to sin. Mm-hmm. And he will explain you the scripture. Oh my God! No, I've been there. Come on, just like this, just this, just this. Are you the only one? No. When you people start seeing like that, they have compromised already. That kind of person will forever be seeking God, seeking God for years. You won't find him. You will be struggling. They will not die, you, but they will struggle and struggle and struggle. God will help them waste their time. I'm supposed to say something like that. I'm mm. serious. Because if if you are not genuine in this seeking, God will help you with you waste time and waste again. And God will send caterpillars, palm worm, canker worm. They will eat your years, eat, eat, eat. So when we are far at that time, when we are ready, that time you be seeking for salvation again. What lie have you believe about yourself? Discard it. Believe the Lord. Everything is possible. You can only believe everything. I want us to pray and ask the Lord rain. We ask the Lord rain. For this is this is this is the timing of rain. This is the timing and the season of rain. Let the Lord bring shower. The Lord bring showers upon the dry land. The places of our soul that is weary, let the Lord renew it. Let Him renew our strength. The strength of the ego. The strength of an ox. Father, in this rain again upon us. In this rain again upon us. We have believed a lie. Have mercy upon us. But the household of idols have spoken a lie. They have seen a vain vision. They have seen a vain dream. That which they say about us is, 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 is false. We choose to believe in the name of the Lord our God. We will believe in the name of the Lord our God. But the vision we speak, it will not lie. It will not lie. It shall come to pass. Because blessed is he that believe, for there shall be a performance. 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 There shall be a performance with God. Helunda subaita kula minanta ihu farate Shaladan sokrita Parandus kebrete kula minan sobrate kupa late la tumash heriadu late ato
ezani andu li vla itaku mbalase pleto kumaliata Shabarando na vla itaku nda vla itababalanto shikabrete balatula tam vla itabalatua Sabrato mbalianto tembra ikatu mbalata la balatulo shikombra itababalatu skabinata Rababon sabrata balatula mbla itaku laba As the Lord for refreshing like grass in the field needing water needing rain let the Lord refresh let him refresh you again let him refresh you again how would the people know except someone is sent unto them how would they know except someone is sent to them now can someone be sent to them as if he is called of God separated from men consecrated by God anointed by God, equipped by God. Mm. Ask the Lord to impute upon you new spiritual arsenals for warfare, tools and equipment for warfare. No man will do that. No man will do that for you. The best security that man can give unto you, they are being As the Lord for strategies. Ask the Lord for understanding. Now the Lord for wisdom and direction. I saw the thing called the anakazu, anakazu, the compelling power, the compelling power, the spirit that compels, it compels. Father, we ask, O oh God. And upon us, you release the compelling power the compelling power sahuran de kru tu balando skavre tu malata tu askatiala sabara tu latam bai ku tu balami latu skavra ta kula bila tam bari ata latu rababon sapelan tu skambre ni mil ku tamina Welcome the witnesses of the Father in this place. I welcome the witnesses of the Father in this place. I welcome the witnesses of the Father in this place. I welcome the witnesses of the Father in this place. They that have been sent from heaven to witness unto this on, 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 on to this convergence. Father, among these selected few, among these selected few, let there be a seal upon them. 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 
Let the 
puta de mão grande de ouça na ponte de sua Deita a puta de mão grande de ouça na ponte de sua Deita a puta de mão grande de ouça Deita a puta de mão grande de ouça Deita a puta de mão grande de ouça I anoint you with fresh oil to polish Fresh oil to polish And I did what I selected you I selected you Leaders among men Leaders among men Father I pray Let the Lord 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 Give them fresh oil to polish Fresh more in Zenzu that they might lead the people aright, that they might lead the people aright, that they might lead the congregation aright in the name of Jesus. Sakri Danilando, Ni Barando Sita Nabalata, Katam Bas Katam Bakata Bakata. How can I hide this from Abraham, my friend? Seeing that you will teach his children the ways of the Lord. Father, I hide that you hide nothing from this one. Hide nothing from this one. Teach it unto them that they might teach. The men that you call, the men you call that they might lead and guide in the name of Jesus. Zibalando stem by Kabila na, Zabalato skapati bakalando skapata balaka, Barato skapri sabala niyata, Zabada bon sabata babala tuwa, Zabada babala tu na babon skabada babala tuwa, Zabada babala tuwa. That shall begin a new discipline and a new school in your life, a new discipline, a new school in your life, a new training. A new teaching, a new training, a new teaching. Holy Spirit, teach them new, teach them a new again, teach them a new again. Sadala ko sadala, jima bon sapri katabala tieta, kabos kabon sabala tieta, kabas kota, zabu katambali katabala tuwa, zembe katabala tu da bas kota zembe katabala tia, masinda song kai kamila, jima lando skamila tan, kama bon sabala katabala tuwa, sabala katabala tu da bemenas kabala katabala tia. Can you can you join your eyes? I saw in the vision a join of hands. Because mainly when I saw a join of hands, the Lord told me that each house functioned by the grace that each join supplied. You as the leaders of this of this great mandate. There's a grace that the Lord God has supply upon this mandate, upon this commission, upon this assignment that He has given unto you guys. The success and the prosperity of it will lies in you being able to assess that grace. Because that grace it lingers and hangs in the spirit realm. The Bible says God has blessed with, every, with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly realms. That means you must take a, a walk into that realm of the heavens for you to be able to assess that blessing that has been put in place in that realm. As we pray, I saw I saw the grace of God. I saw I perceived the grace of God that has been released upon the commission. Been released again, 
and had a scripture that said that every house function by the grace that each joint supply. And the Lord now told me that the grace has been released upon the commission. It's expected to function and unite itself together with the individual grace that God has given unto you. The strength and the ability of God that dwells within you, the inherent ability of God that dwells within you, within you, is supposed to unite together. Then assess again the grace that God has released upon the commission that lingers in the spirit realm to be able to propel the house onto the next level. The Lord said that it's not going to be by power or by mind, but by His Spirit. Grace will speak for you people in this campus. Grace of God, the grace of God will distinguish you from among men. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. So when it pleased the Lord to separate me from my mother's womb and to reveal unto me the mystery of the truth of his kingdom and his gospel, I consent with no man. I took permission from no man. It happened to me by the grace of God, and that grace still sustained me. But that grace of God in me, it was not in vain, in that I labor more than they all. The Lord God will begin to call you into certain personal discipline and certain personal commitment unto Him. Because you being the husband man shall be the first party cup that which is released before He will give it to the general house. There's something I realized that if the leader of a commission, if he's vibrant, the other people will follow suit. If he's if if he's if he's empty, the people will be empty. So like an angel said, you will be laying empty hands on empty head, put it to a dead congregation. God is setting you on fire so that you can be able to set others on fire. If you are on fire for him, that's that would transpire to others. But there will be a great need for you to labor. There might be some little discipline like probably to fast specific days in the week. To do some degree of waiting upon the Lord. To, inco to, in to, to, to incubate and practice the culture of the presence of God. And there might be need for you to do some prophetic working upon the campus and pray strategically within certain locations. There are some portals. Of darkness in that campus that need to be closed down. You're supposed to cause certain places in that campus. Certain places where atrocity and, and iniquity prosper the most. You're supposed to close them out of business. Yesterday while we were in campus, I perceive I perceive the spirit of revival upon that campus. Because there's a refreshingness that is coming to that campus and you. And that is why there is a strange staring upon the heart of men. But there is also certain resisting forces that have held bound certain places that are supposed to pioneer those revivals. And also I was praying and asking the Lord to lose those angels that have been held bound again and let the lord bind those princes of darkness that are holding people bound and they are also holding the territory bound you personally as an individual you might do some little binding and losing 
The binding is the binding of the princes of darkness in the region. The losing is the losing of the angels of revival and the spirit of God that have been sent to function and to work with you people. God wanted to make the last stand on the spirit of the prophetic and apostolic in our campus. As he decree, as he speak, speak forth beyond your fellowship. Speak forth to the prince of the air. Speak forth to the campus as a whole. There are prophets in locations, many among them. But there are prophets that sit upon the throne of the prophetic. There are people that sit upon the throne of the prophetic within a region. They can't be influenced by the negative influence of the society. Micaiah said, a spirit has been sent to seduce all other prophets, but I am excluded. Why? I'm not just an ordinary prophet. The other prophet came and said, he slapped him and he said, when has the Lord asked me to speak unto you? He said, if you have been in the council, if you have been in the hidden secret, if you have had yourself in the Lord and inquire of the Lord, you could have heard the current counsel of God. How much you see? Your advantage over many others will be that you hide yourself. It will be that you, you hide yourself and you listen to what others will not listen to when God is talking. So even when princes of darkness hold people bound, even when princes of darkness are being sent to seduce others to speak for the Lord, you will speak for the current perspective of God. Why? Because you have a different ordination from them. You see, So watchman or oh watchman, what about the night? The watchman didn't know about the night. Why is that you do not know? You see, if you have inquire, you could have acquired. If the watchman was careful enough, careful enough to inquire about the night, he would have acquired from the Lord. I speak in parable, but I expect you to understand. I was speaking about the need for the reason of you intercessors and watchers over this region. Most watchmen in this campus, they just pray and they pray at this. You see, prayer warriors, eh? you pray their heart out. Intercessors pray the body of the Lord. There is a need for intercessors and watchers in this place. People that will not just pray and pray their heart out, just pray in tongues, but they will pray the burden of the Lord. Because there is there is a burden, there is there is there is, there is that which God intends to achieve and to do in this place. He's looking for people that will inquire of him to acquire. And God is calling you and raising you. As leaders of this great mandate to be able to inquire of him so that you can be able to acquire don't just pray your heart out seek to pray the body of the Lord because when you pray the body of the Lord if the Lord answer his body then there will be there will be a revival, there will be a breaking out. There are many that are supposed to 
to be praying. There are men that are supposed to come seek the Lord. But you see, they have been seduced by darkness. They linger around in diaspora in white places within the campus. Why can't you guys make that place a home for them? Now when the Lord told me to pray for someone that was deep into darkness, I pray most every day for almost a week. The more I pray, the more the person keep on backsliding. I was thinking that maybe when I pray, pray when next time I just approach the person, the person will say, I want to give my life to Christ. The next time I was passing through, I saw the lady committing more atrocity than before. Like Jesus. To what extent? But one day, when the cloud be full of rain, it will empty himself. One day, the Lord God will encounter. The grace of God will keep you behind. Amen. As leaders upon the commission, you must understand the grace of God and embrace it. I know you are anointed. I know you have gifts. I know you have this. But I'm telling you, the grace of God is very, very important. What is called the gift of the grace of God? Embrace the grace. Always be insufficient in yourself. Be somebody that is needing help from God all the time. Anytime you come for meetings, be, be, be willing and be open in your heart for God to infill you so that you infill others. Let it be that let it be that God encounter you. Then others have been encountered with you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I declare that Father from today, this one will be a voice that will speak for the campus. Amen. Release a strong challenge upon you. Amen. Each and every one of you will carry a, another measure of the presence of God. Amen. Carry another measure of the grace of God. Amen. Carry another measure of the spirit of God. Mm-hmm. Father, I pray, O oh God, that from today, let there be a difference. Let certain things that are dormant in them be activated. Mm-hmm. In Jesus. Mm-hmm. Father, I pray that if there be a need for you to encounter them again, encounter them and open the wind of your heart. Kill them and you. Mm-hmm. Release fresh utterances and fresh revelation. Mm-hmm. Father, possess them and you. Mm-hmm. I decree and I declare that from today, as we speak forth, it shall come to pass. Mm-hmm. Whatsoever you see, you will be healed. Amen. Mm-hmm. Whatsoever you deliver will be delivered. Amen. Mm-hmm. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you enlarge their coast. Amen. Mm-hmm. Enlarge their coast. Amen. Mm-hmm. Enlarge their coast. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Father, I pray that everyone that will come for meetings will be blessed. Amen. Mm-hmm. They will be blessed. Amen. But I pray that you say about that come to, to fellowship together with them. 
the experience participation mm -hmm. transport and intimacy with the spirit mm -hmm. of the Lord. The person will be refreshed mm -hmm. answers to prayers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I pray that upon these leaders you raise good men and women. Mm -hmm. But I keep them in perfect peace. Mm -hmm. But I speak to them in the language that you understand. Mm -hmm. I pray, O oh God, and let the gifts of the Lord in you function. Mm -hmm. Let them function. Let mm -hmm. them function with mm -hmm. and accuracy. Mm -hmm. I pray for accuracy and precision. Mm -hmm. I pray for the ability to believe God and you. Mm -hmm. to trust in God. Mm -hmm. I pray that you will not be the limiting factor. Amen. You will not Amen. limit God. Amen. Father, we say about that you are sent to them. Let them come. Jesus speaking said, Father, thank you for things. So all that you give me, none have been lost. I send the son of petition. Father, I ask that as many that you have given them, none will be lost. Amen. Now ask, O oh God, that as many that you have sent towards their direction, Father, that they will find a home and they will find food. Amen. I call for sojourners. I call for people on pilgrimage from the north, south, east, and west. Let them come and find Putin. Amen. The Ethiopian you know, was looking just one answer. Did these schools will not save you? The Bible says that Philip was saved. To understand the doubt that we found. But I ask, oh God, that as you sent Philip to the Ethiopia, you, know, you send this one to as many that are reading scrolls and they are not understanding. Mm -hmm. and they will interpret unto them the scrolls mm -hmm. and baptize them at the Ethiopia. You know, mm -hmm. But I pray, oh God, that let your compelling power work with them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let it compel men to bless them. Amen. Let it compel men to honor them. Amen. Let it compel men to partner with them. Amen. I ask in God that you activate divine relationship among them. Amen. Connect them divine. That they are being networking. Amen. Amen. I pray. God to keep you on the Amen. Nobody will die on. Amen. Because of your zeal and passion for the Lord, your family is preserved. Amen. They are preserved. Amen. Let every issue in the family will be settled. Amen. I pray that if there be anyone at home that is afflicted with any spirit of infirmity, let the affliction cease right now. Amen. I rebuke every spirit of affliction. Every spirit of affliction, Amen. Let every sickness is down. Amen. Enjoy the divine heart of me. Amen. And I pray that this one is will not fear that from the Amen. 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 Let the academics not suffer. Amen. Let the academics not suffer. Amen. And I pray that your